evening and welcome from the newsroom. The headlines tonight. Frustration builds as the launch of the Glucksman Library extension slips further down the pipeline. Hundreds of students caught in the net of a cider fishing scam. And the Festival of Colour comes back with a bang. Frustration is building among UL students as study week approaches and the library extension is still not complete, despite an initial promised opening of December 2017. Ger Flanagan reports. The distinctive racket of a construction site. Not what you want when you're studying for final year exams. Unfortunately for the frustrated students of the University of Limerick, they have no choice as construction of the new UL library is still ongoing. I'm um, going to kind of like leave my house in Grudy because I want to go somewhere quiet. And then when the drilling and stuff is going on, there's not much help when I'm trying to get away from my at home. It's just hard to study and possible to concentrate. You, you go to the library and expect to be left quiet. That's it's kind of disappointing on the UL's behalf. Deputy Librarian Kieran McCaffrey has said that extra services are in place to cater for the students' needs. We're extending our opening hours from next week until midnight. Uh, we've made 100 seats available upstairs in a space that uh, is intended for a staff workspace in the final plan, but we've made that available to students for the next couple of weeks. Although the original data completion was expected to be week 7 of semester 2, UL Student Union President Jack Shelley said the delays are due to issues outside of the university's control. So what's causing the delays at the minute is um, after Christmas there was uh, issues with supplies so glass, uh, copper and then there was just the snow and all that. So that was really what's caused. There's not, at the moment there's not anything causing the delays. The delays happened just after Christmas. Ger Flanagan with LV News. University of Limerick. Hundreds of student accounts were breached in a cyber attack over the Easter break. The IT department at the University of Limerick has been flooded with complaints from distressed students targeted by the scam. Sloan Perrin has more. The weather was not the only dismal part of the week as hundreds of students were greatly inconvenienced by a cyber attack that compromised their email accounts. Nishida Dimri was worried about how being locked out of her email would impact her assignments. Computer things and just swipe your card and change your password. So I went there and the IT person was sitting there, so I asked her about it and she said that um, Microsoft has blocked the accounts completely. Experts warn UL is increasingly being targeted by phishing scams. Yeah, basically phishing is a targeted email towards a group of individuals, one individual or a large group of individuals where you're trying to get access to their system. The attack that hit UL could probably be best described as a spear phishing attack. Why? Because it basically targeted just UL students. Brandon Doerr from the Information Technology Division explains how the hackers kept adapting emails in order to entice more victims. A number of students received uh, one of three different emails uh, starting kind of on Thursday um, over the weekend and the emails were about verifying your account and so on uh, and they got more sophisticated as time went on so the first one was just to verify your account and basically all the emails are trying to direct a student to click on a link within the email which directs them to a website where they were asked to put in their username and password the message from experts is clear never click on a link from someone you don't know and never give away your email password a little common sense now could save you a lot of trouble later. This is Sloan Perrin from LV News, University of Limerick. And now we'll head over to Ger Mulvahill at the sports desk. Ger? And we start tonight with news of handball. UL student Colin Crehan will contest the doubles decider at the All-Ireland Finals Festival in Cavan at the weekend. In running news, the 2018 Plassey 5K run will be held on April 10. Run in memory of former UL student Jacinta O'Brien, it aims to raise funds for a number of charities. And our main sports story tonight, 36 teams from 21 colleges are contesting the InterVarsities at the University of Limerick. UL's own male and female sides were in action, and here's David Connors with more. It was a day of mixed emotions for the UL senior basketball teams. 
The UL men's team comprehensively defeated GMIT by 73 to 36, with James Bourne putting in an MVP performance. Good start, man. I'll be the rest of the day off now to watch everyone else and see what we're up against tomorrow. UCC is the next one, so they beat us in the league, so we hope to get on back against UCC tomorrow. Just to be confident, like, we were disappointed to get by into the B, but the plan is to win the B now, especially when it's in UL. Haley's opponents were a highly fancied Waterford Institute of Technology outfit, who had already previously won the league in 2017. However, the WIT side proved too much for the Limerick opposition, winning eventually by a five point margin on a scoreline of 57 to 52. Team coach Orla Woods spoke with LV News after the game. Yeah, very disappointing because we were, I think we were 15 or 20 points down at one stage and um, the girls brought it back and fought really hard with just a few little mistakes. So yeah, we'll just have to bring it back tomorrow morning. Both teams are back in action tomorrow. The men's team taking on UCC while their female counterparts take on Griffin College, what is now a crunch clash. David Connors, LV News. The Holy Festival of Colours made a comeback to the UL campus yesterday. The annual Hindu event celebrates Indian culture while marking the beginning of the spring season. While Holly is an ancient festival, it has only been a tradition in the University of Limerick for the last couple of years, with yesterday marking the second ever event. The Indian Festival of Colour celebrates the triumph of good over evil. Participants smear each other in powder paint while dancing to traditional Indian music. It is a collaboration brought to the students from the International Society alongside the Postgraduate Students' Union. So I guess being part of International Society, we're all about celebrating um, not just Irish culture, but everybody's culture. And so we find that a festival or a celebration like this is an awesome way in which to both meet people from that culture, but also to celebrate it on a wide scale. Speaking to LV News is Amy McKenzie from the Postgraduate Students' Union. Uh, a year ago, we had students that came to, to me basically and said, you know, they would love to celebrate and see if we could uh, hold an event. And so we put a team together and, and ran the event last year. And it was a, such a success and so much fun that we decided to run it again this year and just keep it as an annual event. As you can see, this year's event was a huge success for both societies, with hopes of next year's being even better. Well, Holi is one of the biggest festivals in India. And it's like home away from home. This reporter even got involved while she was there. Laura Sheehan, LV News, University of Limerick. Hello and a good evening to you. After a dreary Easter, Ireland is set to be hotter than Madrid this weekend. It's not all good news, however, as milder temperatures and thundery downpours will result in a yellow weather alert. This will be in place until 5pm today. Tonight will be mostly dry and fresh with southerly winds which will ease with mist and fog patches forming. Looking ahead to the weekend, temperatures will soar to a mild 14 degrees. However, Saturday will bring heavy showers in the afternoon across the south and the west. Sunday will have pleasant spells of sunshine. However, more heavy rain is expected with thunder and some flooding. Make sure to enjoy the rise in temperature while it lasts, but don't put your umbrellas away for too long. That's all from here, and back to you, Amy. Thanks, Sinead. Once again, the headlines tonight. Frustration builds as the launch of the Glucksman Library extension slips further down the pipeline. Hundreds of students caught in the net of a cyber phishing scam. And the Festival of Colour comes back with a bang, celebrating culture on campus. That's all from the newsroom today. Have a very good evening. <laughs>